G'day everyone, Artist Wayne here, riding the golden sands and dunes of Stockton Beach. But just remember, this place can be treacherous. Now this is a crash that could have been prevented, but to find out why, we need to start at the beginning. Because the beginning's a great place to start. And we pick up the action with Bad Mouth's video camera on his 300 two-stroke KDM. Good old Stockton Beach. It's located north of the Hunter River in New South Wales, Australia. And it's 32 kilometres long and stretches from Stockton to Anna Bay. And over the years, Stockton Beach has been the site of numerous aircraft crashes and shipwrecks. In fact, I used to dive here on some of the wrecks years ago. But today, Stockton Beach would be witness to numerous motorcycle crashes. Now, after the boys and I had an awesome breakfast at our favourite cafe at the Wyong Milk Factory, we drove up to Stockton with our bikes, bought our permits at the local garage, geared up and hit the sand. Mad Mal, Anthony, Adrian and Paolo, who I was meeting for the very first time and who used to ride here and camp here years ago. And remember in the last video when I said I had a sense of foreboding? I felt like I had some kind of premonition that something was going to happen. Well, we'd only been here for 10 minutes. And if you watch Mal, who's way up there ahead of us, you'll see him crash in 3, 2, 1, boom. Now, lucky for Mal, the only thing hurt was his pride. You see, Mal has the uncanny ability to land on his back and to use his water bladder as a cushion. But when his water bladder burst, there was actually another casualty of the crash. His drone. It's waterproof, isn't it? That ass broken. No. Fucking hell. That drone is fucked. Video. That's it. Ah yes, if only we'd stop there. <laughs> but now it was time to hit the dunes. Although these dunes were rather small. And we didn't really spend enough time here before heading off down the beach to Anna Bay for some lunch. After lunch and on our way back, we thought we'd have a look for Tin City. Now as you ride past looking at the colossal sky, the foaming sea, the way the ocean meets the earth here like a smack in the chops, there's just nothing else here. So it's surprising to be told that there are people living out here. So I was certainly looking forward to seeing this place called Tin City. That's if we could find it, of course, because on the way to Anna Bay, we missed it. Now there's no sign of human habitation along this beach. It's just the odd four-wheel drive and sometimes people on horseback. The rest is just rolling sand dunes until all of a sudden you come across a cluster of 11 shacks half buried and looking quite strange and lonely. In fact, I was surprised to find out that several scenes of Mad Max were filmed here. Welcome to Tin City. No power, no water, no sewerage. 
it pretty much defines the term off the grid. Which now brings me to the hurty end of the video. This is where we thought, let's find bigger sand hills and have one last ride. It's also where I could have done with some very important information, which I only found out about after the crash. That is when you ride up a big ass sand hill, you always stop at the top before riding down the other side. And for those that haven't ridden sand hills before, take it from me, there's hardly any contrast. It's like you're snow blind, you lose vertigo. There's just no light and shade. You just feel yourself going up a rise and going down a hill without even knowing it. So thankfully because of that, I did slow down. But it was a big bloody fall and it did bloody hurt. And because Mel didn't actually see how bad it was, he thought it was funny. His laughter soon turned to shock when he saw Anthony crash seconds later. So you'll see Anthony's bike land just as I'm trying to get up here. I had no idea he'd crashed until I heard the boys yelling. At first I thought they were yelling about me. And I can remember thinking, well, it's not that bloody bad. And then I saw poor Anthony laying prone in the sand and everything turned to shit. All I wanted to do was get up and get over there, which took a little effort. My left thigh had impacted with the bike. My right leg had twisted up behind my back when I impacted with the sand. And when I got home, I found lacerations in my back where my peg clipped me as the bike went over. And take it from me, there's nothing worse than seeing your riding buddy laying unconscious in the sand. It's absolutely frightening. But the great news is we were both okay, albeit a little banged up and bruised. I was on crutches for a few days and poor Anthony had fractures of his spine. So if the information I've given you today saves at least one rider crashing, then it's well worth it. I'm artist Wayne Dowson, and thanks for watching everyone.